Alrighty, hello and welcome to another short brought to you by the Couch Warrior Podcast. Today I'm going to be breaking down another fight for Eagle FC 47. Today we're going to be breaking down Adi Alik versus Sean Bunch. This is another fight that I've been looking at all week, trying to find a good spot. I definitely went into it wanting to bet Bunch. He opened as like the minus two something favorite. And now he's down to like minus 165. So I woke up this morning. I saw that. I was like, all right, I need to retape this. I taped it. I was looking at it. And look, I'm not positive yet. As of now, I don't have a bet placed. I am leaning towards the Adi side. And I'll I'll explain why. So we've got Adi Alik versus Sean Bunch. Alik is 8'4 and 0. He's 32 years old. 5'9. We don't have a reach on him. But I'll say this, I'm fairly certain it's longer than Bunch's. And he's training out of my personal favorite camp, Sanford MMA. And on the other side, you've got Sean Bunch. He is 11, 5, and 0, 39 years old, 5'5", five five with a 66-inch reach. And he's training out of AKA. I'm pretty sure he's one of the wrestling coaches over there. Two-time Olympic alternate, an extremely talented wrestler. If you're into that kind of thing, you should check out his stuff. He He's really good. But in MMA... It, it's translated, yes, but with its limits. For example, I was watching his fight against the the little Lee. Uh, I forget his name. I think it's Key Keith Keith Lee. Um, that fight was, you know, he lost that fight, and it, it's because he wasn't really grappling enough. And Lee was able to push him up against the fence. Lee was able to win the exchanges on the feet. And the thing is, I think. Adi's going to have the similar success. He's got a similar tool set to what Keith does. And I think that, honestly, he's probably better on the feet than even Lee. So I think that on the feet here, Alik will piece up Bunch. Bunch has really good hand speed. He's got a great one, too. But he's pretty hittable. He doesn't move his head all that much. He moves a lot back and forth, but that kind of stops as the fight goes on. And then he's more hittable. And he's also a little bit limited with this tool set. He's just using that one two, the one two, and not much else. On the other side, though, you've got Alik. He's mixing it up. He's hitting the body. He's hitting really nice one twos, good hooks, good combos, and he carries power. And we just saw Bunch get rocked in his last fight against Hasanov. I remember that fight being much more dominant than it actually was. It was actually a fairly close fight. Bunch was able to notch it with some wrestling, but he didn't use it enough. If he doesn't use it in this fight, I don't think he's going to be able to win. And I I didn't check, but I'm pretty sure the first time this fight was made, it was Adi Ali who was the favorite and not Bunch. So just something to think about. I do think I'm going to be playing Ali. He's plus 135 now. I still like that, I guess. It's just, it's rough because a wrestler like like Bunch, you you do have to worry that they're going to just grapple here and blanket wrestle. But it's not something he's been doing. And on the feet, I think he's going to give Alik chances to win, which is to his detriment. So I am going to be playing Alik, I believe. All my final bets are placed on my Twitter, at CouchWarriorPod. So just follow me there if you want to see my picks as I make them. And yeah, that's it. Thank you guys for tuning in, and I'll catch you in the next video.